Hey guys, what's up? It's Gears Richie, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on 3D models with Gears of War 3. Uh, I'm using the Fresh Ball drone from um, Chaos Venom's uh, editing pack, or well, not Chaos Venom's anymore, but just Venom's editing pack. Uh, I mean the 3D model pack. Um, if you just open the file, it will look like this, or even worse, uh, it will look all black because the paths are not set properly. You just have to reset all the paths, so just click here and uh, set it to your own path. D is for color, N is for normal map, S is for um, specular map, and also some models have an um, emissive map. So with E, or that's, and you can put it in a luminance channel here. Um, so yeah, most of all, uh, most of the editors, or just some editors, only use the color channel and just light, light that. Um, so tip number one is to use normal maps and specular maps. Um, also some reflection if you want but uh, that's not something I'm going to talk about right now so that's tip number one um, so if you have done that it will look like this and we still have a problem here the edges here are really rough and um, you can really see it um, that like this part is lit um, much much more than this part here it's all darker um, so yeah we want to remove these edges and this is one thing I also rarely see that people fix this or even know how to fix this. You just right click here, go to Cinema 4D tags and click on Fang. I also check the angle limit checkbox, not sure what it does but I still do it. And voila, the edges are gone. So uh, this is, uh, one, I think the most important tip I want to tell you guys here. Um, so yeah, that's already way better. So um, it looks all smooth now. And another tip is to add ambient occlusion. This will uh, generate some fake shadows and you can really see this um, with the helmet here and the Locust uh, Fresh Ball drone. I'm going to preview a little bit. Um, yeah, so as you can see, um, there's some fake shadows here. The edges are really uh, darker, also under the shoulder pads and the here around the neck and everything everything else also, all, everything looks better also if you uh, well, I'm not going to remove this preview it's taking too long if you um, like make a ground here you can also make some uh, fake shadows with the uh, ambient occlusion uh, looks better um, also you can add global illumination if you have a light room or just a light studio uh, and you put the drone in it uh, you can illuminate the model from uh, all around it with the reflections, with the global illumination. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now, but um, just have to uh, look on YouTube how to do that. Just uh, put a studio in here and um, add some global illumination. And set this to low if you have a um, uh, well, average to low computer like me. And one more tip, one last tip, is when you render it out, and you want to um, only render the character so if you if you uh, check the alpha channel um, like for instance in Avenged Team Taj I saw uh, the Carmine model and the, um, the little piece of paper that, that says Champion Presents it has some black edges around it uh, I think Champion uses 3ds Max so I'm not sure how, how to do that there but here if you don't want the black edges you just click on straight alpha and it will remove the edges and that's all um, for the rest you just have to experiment yourself with the lighting and uh, everything else and I hope you guys can uh, make some good 3D model effects and cinematics right now with this information and um, yeah I hope you guys uh, learned something and uh, feel free to like, subscribe, favorite, comment, anything just to help me out and I'll see you guys next time peace